Yeah, welcome back to class. Now we are taking computation of VAT liability. Computation of VAT liability, including the treatment of opening and closing inventory. Computation of VAT liability, including the treatment of opening and then closing inventories. Effective February 1st, 2021, 2020, in computing value added tax liability, the VAT output is first determined. The VAT, the VAT output is first determined. The VAT output is first, is first determined by applying what by applying the VAT rate at 7.5 percent on the total sales net of allowable sales adjustment net of allowable sales adjustment then thereafter VAT is determined by applying VAT rates of 7.5 percent on purchases net of allowable purchases adjustment so what are the uh, example of allowable Sales adjustment. For instance, now if you have uh, if you have discount received, okay, or discount allowed, okay. So to your customer, probably uh, you are giving discounts, okay. So you have discount allowed. So the discount allowed uh, should be adjusted for uh, on the total sales, and you compute your uh, your total sales net of the discount so if your total say is say 1000 naira and you give discount of 100 naira so the uh amount will be computing of output button will be 900 naira so you'll be doing 0.5 percent of 900 uh, naira do you understand so uh in computing that liability the VAT output is first determined by applying that rate of 7.5 percent on the total sales net of reliable sales adjustments and thereafter, VAT input is also determined by applying the VAT rate of 7.5% on purchases net of discount received or any other type of uh, allowable purchases uh, adjustments. Allowable purchases adjustments such as discount received. Uh, uh, probably we have a return. Uh, return outward okay so that liability for the period is then the what is then the VAT output the VAT liability for the period is the VAT output less the VAT input VAT output less the VAT input are we together so uh however however the VAT liability for the current period can further be adjusted if there are reverse, uh, if there are VAT reverse charges already deducted by third parties. If there are VAT uh, reverse charges already deducted by third parties, uh, for instance, oil and gas companies, governments, uh, governmental agencies, governmental agencies. Uh, such as the uh, MDAs, the ministries, uh, departments, and agencies, among others, during the same period. Okay, so if you have a VAT uh, reverse, same, then you need to adjust uh, for the VAT reverse before uh, applying the applicable VAT rates on the what on the uh, on the what on the net on the net sales. Okay. So, uh, also, a further adjustment may be made if there was a VAT credit, okay? So, that is, if there is the excess of input VAT, if there is, a, there is an excess of input VAT over output VAT, over output VAT, so, in a previous period. So, after you have, uh, you know, determined your uh, VAT, the net VAT output, okay, 
so you can adjust for VAT reverse and also adjust for SS VAT input in the previous uh, period. SS VAT input in the previous period. So the net VAT after this adjustment may either result in a VAT credit, may either result in a VAT credit or VAT payable or VAT payable. So a VAT credit uh, is as a, is a result of what uh, you have a VAT credit when your input VAT is higher than the output VAT. When your input VAT is higher than the output VAT, you have your what you have uh, a VAT credit. Uh, but where your output VAT is higher than the input VAT, then you have VAT uh, payable. You have VAT payable. Are we together? So nonetheless, uh, if VAT liability computation includes uh, inventories. If VAT liabilities computation includes the uh, inventory such as stocks of items or stocks of uh, materials, then there will be need to further adjust uh, the input VAT. There will be need to further adjust the input VAT. So to do this, the period purchases is first adjusted by adding cost of opening inventory. So uh, you determine your cost of sales. Okay, so uh, what you are doing is just like uh, the determination of what of our cost of sales are uh, together. So and to achieve this, what do we do? Uh, you have your opening inventory. You have your opening inventory. Okay, so let's say hundred, and you have your purchases for the period. Uh, let's say one two okay so you have one thousand three which is your cost of goods uh cost of goods available for sale cost of goods available for sale thereafter the cost of inventory will be what uh the closing inventory will be deducted so then you less or deduct your closing uh, inventories deduct your closing inventory so let's assume your closing inventory is, uh, is 200 let's assume your closing inventory is 200 so the cost of sales uh, in this case will be what will be uh, 1100 okay your cost of sales will be what will be 1100 okay so uh, it is this net result that uh, <coughs> you can do what you can then apply your VAT rate of 7.5%. Okay, so you apply your VAT rate of 7.5% on uh, this 1100. On 1100, so you should be having something like uh, 82.5 naira, 82.5 naira. As your input VAT, are we together? So, uh, it is important to know that inventories are measured at the lower of cost and their net realizable value. The cost of inventories shall comprise all cost of purchase, cost of conversion, and other costs incurred in bringing the inventories to their present location and conditions. Uh, this is in line with the requirement of IS uh, 2 under the uh, International Accounting Standard. Okay, so for a uh, better understanding, let's see if we can do at least one illustration. Let's practice an illustration. Okay, let's practice an illustration. Uh, you are writing. Starry Gold Nigeria Limited. Starry Gold Nigeria Limited uh, was incorporated uh, some years ago. And uh, commence business uh, in uh, commence business in February 2019. Uh, commence business in February 2019. So the company is engaged in the importation and sale of chemical pro sorry of chemical products, and the chief accountant of the company resigned in uh, resigned in February. 2020 so and in a chance meeting uh 
with the managing director he intimated you that management of the company would want to ascertain the vast remittable to the relevant tax authority based on the following financial transactions which took place in uh, which took, which took place in uh, March 2018 which took place in March sorry March 2020 rather which took place in March 2020 uh, okay so uh, we have the total value of taxable supplies total value of uh, taxable supplies we have uh, 10 million naira total value of taxable supplies we have 10 million naira uh, we have value of uh, exempted items value of exempted or zero uh, rated supplies value of zero rated supplies uh, we have five million naira then we have VAT on domestic VAT on domestic uh, supplies VAT on domestic supplies or purchases for which invoicing requirements have uh, have been met uh, we have hundred thousand naira we have VAT on import. We have VAT on import. We have two hundred thousand naira. Then we have VAT on purchases. VAT on purchases not are uh, wholly used in making uh, vatable supplies. Not wholly used in making vatable supplies. So we have that to be 50,000 Naira. Then we have VAT on equipment. We have VAT on equipment. Uh, we have 100,000 Naira. We have VAT on professional fees. VAT on professional fees paid during the month. Uh, we have Fifty thousand naira. Then we have a uh, bank charges VAT inclusive. Bank charges VAT inclusive. We have hundred thousand naira. So all the goods we receive and sold during the month, we are required to compute the VAT remittable to the relevant tax authority in March twenty uh, twenty. So don't forget that your uh, valid tax rate as of March uh, 2020 uh, is 7.5%. Uh, okay, so the name of the company is Starry Gold. So now we are preparing our suggested uh, solution. So Starry Gold Nigeria Limited. So we have a shadow of VAT remittance. A shadow of VAT remittance to the Federal Inland Revenue Service in july 2018 in july 2018 and we have this so we have a, a value of taxable supplies value of taxable supplies including exempted and zero rated supplies total value of taxable supplies including exempted and zero rated uh, uh, supplies is a uh, 10 million naira is 10 million naira we have 10 million naira so uh, we have to deduct okay deduct or less the value of exempted value of exempted or zero uh, rated supplies which is five million naira which is five million naira so we have uh, we have five million naira so these are these are total supplies these are total supplies subject to VAT total supplies subject to uh, value added tasks okay so uh vat received vat received on supplies 
VAT received on supplies okay so uh, uh VAT received on supplies uh, will now be what will be uh, 7.5 percent all over 107.5 multiplied by 5 million naira multiplied by 5 million naira so uh, what do we have uh, kindly punch your calculator and confirm uh, the figure to me so we have uh, 7.5 divided by 107.5 multiply by 5 million naira multiply by 5 million naira so we have uh, T48 87 they have VAT on domestic supplies VAT on domestic supplies so how much is our VAT on domestic supplies? Our VAT on domestic supplies is hundred thousand naira. Hundred thousand naira. So we have VAT on imports. VAT on imports. Our VAT on imports is how much? VAT on imports is two hundred thousand naira. Okay. So uh, this gives us a total of 300,000 naira, and then we have VAT on purchases not wholly used in uh, making valuable supplies, less VAT on purchases, less VAT on purchases not wholly used in making valuable supplies. So what's our VAT on purchases not wholly used in making valuable supplies? We have 50,000 naira. We have fifty thousand naira, so uh, we have a net of uh, two hundred and fifty thousand to be deducted from our uh, VAT on our uh, taxable supplies. So that that give us what that give us our VAT our remittance or VAT remittable or VAT payable of three. Uh, uh, sorry, VAT payable of. Uh, so let's deduct our uh, three four eight minus 250,000 so that gives us our uh, 98 98 837 98 837 so that's our, our VAT remit remittable or payable at the end of the month okay so the validators uh, at as amended allows input tasks as a deduction from output tasks to be limited to the tasks on goods purchased or imported directly for the sale and goods which form the inventory in the uh, in trade that is stock in trade remember your stock in trade okay so stock in trade used for direct production of any product on which output tasks is charged VAT paid on any overhead service and general administration of business Outfit which otherwise can be expensed through the statement of profit or loss shall not be allowed as input tax. So, VAT paid on any capital item and asset shall be capitalized along with the cost of acquisition and shall not be allowed as input tax. Shall not be allowed as input tax. Okay, so let's go and break. When we come back, we shall continue uh, with the other part of this same topic.